future great doctors, great nurses, and great scientists. Yeah, I can see future these days. So I'm Dr. Sadha Falam. I review medical lectures so that you can find the right lecture in each topic without having to hop from one lecture to the other and to the other and to the other so that you can find a good lecture to study from. So today I'm going to be reviewing lectures on kidney, only the anatomy, some embryology, anatomy and a very simple histology. No physiology, no pathology, nothing else. So I found a lot of lectures on kidney some great, some okay, some not so good. Most of them were good enough, but why do you want to spend time on just good enough? Do it from the best lectures so that you'll never forget ever, ever, ever again. If you're in a medical school, undergraduate student, you need to first know the dissection of the kidney, the grossing, whether it is the right kidney or the left kidney, which one is the uh, renal artery, vein, ureter, orientation in the body or juventia demonstration of kidney mp4 is a good video the only thing that it doesn't talk about is the size of the kidney which is very important i think i can just tell you the very easiest way of learning that is in inches four to one four that is uh, four inches long two inches wide one inch thick and four uh, vertebrae that it sits on okay four to one four easy inches now, coming to the other anatomy of the kidney, anatomy zone is good for relations and uh, internal structures, blood supply and capsule, pretty good. Dr. B, capsule of the kidney lecture is just for five minutes, it's also very good in case you want to check that out as well. Even though anatomy zone has already spoken about it, but Dr. B gives that extra edge. Now coming to the mnemonics, God knows what we would do if we did not have mnemonics in our lives. So there is Lutfi Abdul Moin. He talks about anterior and posterior relations of kidney in a mnemonic form. It's pretty good. Also, there's Deanne Rash who talks about the arterial blood flow, the path from the renal artery to the vasa recta in a mnemonic form. Also pretty good. You could use that. There is a lecture named as uh, Macula Densa and Juxtaglomerular Apparatus by Geoff Mayer. It is a good lecture, rather it is on point. There are a lot of lectures that talk about JG apparatus, but I don't know, think it's been so good. This one is too perfect, okay? You must do from here. Coming to the embryology, there are two lectures by Medical Video Illustration, 12 minutes and four minutes. Good lecture. Also, there are a few lectures which are giving incorrect information. This is pretty simple and good. You could also do anomalies of kidney uh, formation like agenesis, hypoplasia, mole rotation, etc. from this channel. It's good. For uh, histology, the very basic histology, shotgun histology by Washington Deceit is good. It will help you identify the glomerulus, PCT, DCT. Good job. I think it's also a good idea here to identify the types of epithelial tissues because kidney has different types of epithelial uh, tissue in it. So you should use Franco-anatomy, epithelial tissue review and practice. It's a good lecture and it's going to help you always just to be able to identify those epithelium. Also, there's one more lecture for one and a half hours by Dr. Youssef. He, that lecture has a lot of uh, things which None of these lectures that I've mentioned talk about, like Morrison's parallelogram, uh, which the surgeons might need. You could use this lecture. But for those who are preparing for exams like NEET, AIMS, USMLE, for topic of uh, anatomy, uh, kidney, if you follow these lectures, you will be able to hopefully answer most questions that come because these are the best lectures that have a perfect approach. That's all about the kidney anatomy. I'll be coming up with a new video with the physiology and the rest of the part. Well, so if you like my channel and you find my review useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I can't wait to see you again. Bye-bye.